Okay, so here is a picture of the world and it shows the different geological regions of it. So let's go through these. Uh, the first one is going to be called the Craton. So the Craton represents the original nucleus of the continent. And so each of the continents has its own Craton. Now the Craton is divided up into two parts. So it has the um, igneous and metamorphic rocks that are laid bare on the surface. And that's going to be called the shield of the Craton. And then it also has the part of the Craton that has been covered up by sedimentary rocks. And then that's going to be called the platform. Okay, then you'll notice that there are areas that are in uh, that lightish uh, green part uh, that represents mountain building. So that's origin. Uh, and then you're going to have parts uh, that are uh, the bluish part that is next to the green part, which is going to be a basin. So areas where the mountains are going to be giving off sediments that are right next to the mountains, and so those, those are the basins. And then you also have large igneous provinces. So we talked about this earlier when we talked about igneous processes. And so what can happen is that large amounts of igneous rock can be, uh, or, or magma, can come up to the surface, it comes out as lava, and it covers tremendous amounts of the surface of the earth as uh, flood basalts. And so we call these large igneous provinces. And in particular, I want you to notice the one that is up there in the Ural Mountains, because that's going to be, uh, uh, it was instrumental in causing the demise of a lot of the organisms on the surface of the earth and in the oceans. So we'll talk about that later uh, in an upcoming episode. All right, and so lastly, we want to talk about rocks and regions of the United States. And so the, um, the different regions are given below. They're in the notes down there at the bottom. But the ones that I would like for you to definitely know about would be the Appalachian Mountains. Okay, and I'd also like for you to know about where the Rocky Mountains are. And I would like for you to know what caused them. So for example, the Appalachian Mountains were as a result of a collision between Africa and uh, Europe and North America, but the Rockies were a result of a subduction zone. Okay, another uh, area that uh, I would like for you to know about would be the um, basin and range region of the United States. So we already talked about that when we talked about horses and grobbins. So go back and review that information. So I'd like for you to know about that. I'd like for you to know about the Wachita Mountains. Okay, so those are the mountains that are in Arkansas. And uh, they're related to the Ozarks. So try to figure out what caused the Wachita uh, Mountains to be uplifted. Okay, then another thing that would be a good thing to know about would be like the Mississippi Delta region. And so what caused those rocks in the Mississippi Gulf region of the United States? Um, well, I think that would be good enough. So if you could just know about those different regional parts of the United States, that would be good for the exam. Okay, uh, here is another way of looking at the United States. So this one is the physiographical map of the United States. Okay, um, let's take a break. And when we come back, let's talk about how to measure geological structures.